Right, well we're tying here, is what I like to call a pheasant tail dry fly with no wings. And it's to do with the book that we've written at wyattlewisjane.com. Check us out on the blog at that. And uh, yeah, come and have a look at what we do. But yeah, this fly's in there. It's actually one of my favourite flies, to be honest. Because it's simple, it's easy to tie. It's just a little bit small when you're getting blind like I am. And it's no fuss, and it's really effective. I would have caught more fish with a dry fly using one of these than any other fly I've used. Maybe that's just my luck, maybe that's just... I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, start as normally you would. Remember these uh, videos are geared to beginners, but anyone can watch. Start lay laying down the foundation. Now the reason I call it the pheasant tail is because we pretty much just use the feather of a pheasant tail make the tail and the body and then we just use a real fine if you can see that brown hackle and that's all there is to it so now we'll tie in the tail about the length of the hook so it's around about there take that up bring that down tie it on top oh, it's a bit long we'll do it again doesn't really matter I fished these before with no tails because they've fallen off and caught fish. And I fished them with tails. Sometimes I go around the back of that a couple of times if I want it to stick up. It's not really playing the game at the moment, but that's what I'll do, stick it up like that. You wind it around the back a few times to get it where you want it to stick. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. So that's probably enough tying that on. Go back to there, trim this off, try not to trim anything you don't need. Now you could, could use that to make the body, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use this, it's more pheasant tail. So I'm going to tie the pointed end opposite way to the tail, like this. And normally on my drives, I'll try and make a tapered body. But with these ones don't really matter, I just keep them straight. And that's what I like about them, they're so simple. So wind this back towards the eye. Hopefully I haven't got my head in the video. Like so. Bananas. Don't know why I see that. Anyway, that's all good. And you just wind this around, covering the shank as best you can. Give it a bit of brown colour. Careful that they don't unwind because they will. So it can be a pain in the ass doing that. Mind the French. Wind this forward. It's a real small fly. And take that over there. Whoop. And over that way. And you got it. That's about all you need. You could make it bigger, but you don't really have to. Trim this stuff off. So, and that's cool. Now, I'm going to put a hackle on it. There's a hackle. Spread that out like that. Strip a bit of stuff off the quill. Trim it up and tie it on. Now, I normally tie them on like this, of course you can do whatever you like, a lot of people will tie them on like that at, sorry, too much end in the way, at right angles, doesn't really matter, it does matter I suppose, but it doesn't really bother me, well, I'm going to tie it like that, wind this to the forward to the front, pull that up, Too much hand in the way. There we go. That'll help. Now grab your trusty old hackle pliers. I can get that on you. You can't even see it. 
That's better. And we wind the hook along as we do. Let him detail. There it is. Winding it to make it about a third of the body, I guess. Something like this. Hopefully it's not too fine. I'll put a heap of it on because what you'll do, if you don't know already, is add some floating to it, some silicon, even silicon spray like you've probably got in your garage for spraying your uh, water gear like your kite surfer or stuff like that. We'll tie that end on there. And away she goes. That's good, that's good, that's good, never enough. I'll trim that off. Normally right here is so where I trim everything. Nope, not this time. Yeah, you can use a whip finisher. I'll give it a go. You can get those out of the way, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much oh, pop the finger. That's pretty much the fly. When you get to these. Very small fly. There we go. Tighten it up a bit. Now I can trim that cord uh, thread. You can see the mist. There we go. Finished, done. And what I will do is apply a little bit of glue to the end. So they generally come and done. When I do that, I'll hang a hook in the eye because it's very, very easy to get hook. I mean, to get glue in the eye, and then you can't thread it when you're on the river. So yeah, thanks for coming again, and um, I hope you enjoyed that.